The result of this year's Russian presidential election was far from surprising. Vladimir Putin never had any serious competition, if any at all, which would have prevented him from securing yet another term in office. As our correspondent Diana Magne reports, in reality, there was uh, the only option on the table. Large crowds moving towards Moscow's Red Square for yet another patriotic showpiece. Tight security, because there always is when the president's due. And these are his die-hard fans, the type who really listen to his speeches and trot out every word. I think we've united, because those who are not needed here left, and those who are needed stayed. We have become stronger, more tight-knit, and like one big strong family. Russia is flourishing. We are widening our borders. We are returning our own, what we gave away long ago. Now everything is becoming ours, Russian again. You won't find many dissenting voices on Red Square this Monday, 10 years to the day since Russia illegally annexed Crimea, wildly popular then and now. Vladimir Putin, the other token Kremlin candidates on the ballot by his side, full of the joys of yet another electoral grand sweep and his new conquests in Ukraine. Dear friends, I salute you and I congratulate you on this wonderful day of the rejoining of Sevastopol and Crimea with Russia exactly 10 years ago. This is how we will continue walking together, hand in hand, not just in words, but also in actual deeds. A performative election and one more patriotic rally. But what is the point of these grand spectacles broadcast to such great fanfare across the nation? Here is a big majority of people who are supporting this uh, Putin's initiatives, his, uh, his war, uh, his uh, political line. So you must join us. You must be in mainstream. Otherwise, we will treat you as uh, traitors, as foreign agents, uh, as pariahs in this society. And this is where those pariahs are. Ilya Yashin, brave opposition politician, jailed for eight and a half years for decrying the crimes of Bucha on his YouTube channel. Vladimir Karamoza, a UK-Russian citizen, jailed for 25 years on treason charges for calling to toughen the sanctions regime against Russia. The American journalist Evan Gershkovich, detained almost one year ago now, held on espionage charges and still no trial, a journalist doing his job. This is the dark side of this regime that the patriots choose not to see, but still some in Russia, they do remember. Diana Magne, Sky News.